The unemployment rate is the proportion of the labor force not working. The measure is calculated by dividing the number of people reporting to be unemployed by the size of the labor force. To be considered unemployed, a person must first be willing and able to work. Second, they need to be actively searching for a job, which means that the official unemployment rate, known as U3, does not include discouraged workers who are not currently looking for work because they believe no jobs are available for them. This unemployment rate also does not consider the underemployed, people in the labor force not receiving employment that matches their education or utilizes their skills. The official unemployment rate is often calculated by the federal government over portions of time, such as a year or a quarter of a year. In the United States, the Bureau of Labor Statistics tracks changes in labor in an effort to improve the economy. The unemployment rate is just one statistic used to evaluate how an economy is doing. It is also used to see whether the economy is experiencing a recession. To obtain a fuller picture of unemployment, it is important to consider not only the number and proportion of discouraged workers and underemployed workers, but also the number and proportion of involuntary part-time workers, those workers who seek full-time employment but can only find part-time work. Unemployment rates are measured differently in different countries. In the United States, the BLS analyzes monthly surveys to make an estimate of the number of employed persons. U3 is the official unemployment rate, which counts only the people who are not working and actively looking for work, while U6 includes people who are marginally attached to the labor force, discouraged workers, and the number of people who work part-time for economic reasons. Because it's impossible to ask every citizen each month if they were employed or unemployed, the BLS makes an estimate. Other countries use a total count based on applications for welfare programs or registration at employment agencies, while some countries use a sophisticated sampling technique in which a small proportion of the population is surveyed. Differences in measurement between countries makes cross-country comparisons of unemployment rates difficult. Unemployment rates can be calculated for specific groups of the labor force, like young workers, ages 16 to 24, or for prime age workers, 25 to 64, or for different genders, races, and occupations. Policies to address unusually high rates of unemployment differ between groups, so it's important and helpful to look at subgroups instead of the entire country. Policymakers also distinguish between short-term unemployment, which tends to be frictional, and long-term unemployment, defined in the United States as 27 or more weeks without a job, which is likely to be cyclical or structural.